Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about everything you need to know about NPAs. NPA is short for non-performing assets. And this is an asset that a bank has issued that the borrower has stopped paying on. Therefore, this asset is no longer performing and this is bad in several ways. Reduced profits. Interest is how finance groups pay themselves and if borrowers are not paying their loan payments, the banks are missing the interest and they do not have funding to continue lending and earning interest on those loans. Reduced rating. If banks do not have enough money to keep offering loans, their quality of banking will suffer. Economic issues. NPAs in greater numbers can cause adverse effects on the economy, much like the banking crisis of 2018. NPA recovery tools. Unfortunately, there are not many ways for banks to receive the money they loaned since banks cannot force customers to repay them. The most common is legal settlement where banks can take borrowers to court to sue for some of the money that they loaned. How to avoid NPAs. The best way to avoid negative effects of an NPA is to mitigate risk. Here are some ways to reduce the NPA risks. Fully vet credit risk of all clients. Offer plenty of credit or loan options to suit all kinds of clients with varying credit risk. Understand the economy and economic trends. When issuing credit to a business, don't just analyze the risk of individuals or the assets of that business, but also the industry the business is in. Managing NPAs is one of the most critical challenges facing the financial sector today. But an understanding of it works, and even a preventive mentality can make it easier to evaluate and measure. If you want to learn more about NPAs, click over to techfunnel.com. Also, connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn to gather more insights on this and other important topics.